just kind of let you see there is a cemetery out there and like i said this this part up here has no fence or anything like that and i don't know what the difference is but there is another part back there that's fenced in so tim says i don't want to fool with that cemetery i was just showing you this one is the old one and yeah you can sure just look from right here outside the fence and you already know the headstones yep this is the old one Woo! y'all there's bugs it's summertime in alabama oh yeah this is right off the bat y'all i see stones that i don't know if we're gonna be able to read oh my goodness it's richard edwards right here December of 1795 to December of 1885. There's a bug crawling on my screen. Y'all forgive me if you see it. What's the date on that one? 1886. This one's 1819 to 1904. I kind of figure that that has fallen over and they've just left it laying in the ground. This one right here is... Uh, 1885 to I think this was a baby grave I think the date's 1887 oh man look well this one over here is 1894 to 1894 well if you can get earlier in 1886 right now Richard Edwards is the oldest one out oldest grave out here y'all but you know I'm just going to be honest with you looking here and seeing this this large area i imagine there's graves all out through there they just don't have markers anymore you know that's a that's a short grave so that's a headstone and a footstone i would think headstone and footstone that's intriguing that, yeah there's two of them here in a row you think it's got writing on there but. oh it's also got something living in it see i think something probably lives up in there it does have writing on there but i can't read it now this one i see the date 1818 i think that's the date of birth and then i'm pretty sure these over here are markers they just don't have names Okay, give me just a second. Those right there always break me up. The children's. But look at all those markers and headstones over there. Now, there's a new, new looking headstone over there. Okay, let's go see. Tim found one older. Hold on a second. As you walk over this way, uh huh. No joke, you're going to feel a drop in temperature. We're in the shade, but it seems like a considerable drop. <laughs> right there. You feel it? I do. There's moss on the ground where I'm walking now. The ground got soft too. I don't know if that means anything, y'all. That is a laid out plot for somebody and you, you don't know who's in there. This one, 1850, died 1857. Yeah, that is. Born in 1801, died in 1857. And y'all, that was a beautiful headstone. Died 1859. Okay, you, I figured these were married, don't you? That's, his name is John, and I can't say the last name. But this is Rebecca Tate. 1798 to 1859. Look at you that. You can feel the temperature. It's weird. <laughs> it is cooler over here. Kind of got chills right now. Anyway. Yeah, that's just... Uh, it's just magnificent. It's magnificent. What is it about these dates that just... Maybe you can read it. I can't see it. Either. Well, I want to look at this mound right here first, y'all. Look at that. There's a smell to this one. It is. There is a smell to this one. 
It is not a pleasant smell. I don't know if it's this one or that one. There's a smell. Ah, that, hmm. That's a, okay. Which way is this pointed? Okay. Oh, goodness. I don't know. You might be right. It smells worse over here. This is a green wood. That's all I can tell you. This is Mary Ann. Measures Mary Ann Greenwood. I think the death date is a 1800 and something, but I can't tell it. Be ye not so ready. I can't really read it. I don't know if I can show it on there or not. Yeah, and it got high tide over here too, which, you know, that may be a stone marking a grave but i figure that all this is probably graves it's just not necessarily marked graves there is one right over there and it's just a stone marker well i don't think it has any writing on it's what i'm trying to say Now this up here that I was looking at earlier, there was an iron fence around this at one time. I, I see the iron bars. And I imagine, this is just my guess, y'all. That right there was the gate. And they, these ants or something crawling down here. Some dang big ants. Going in and out of these holes. I'm gonna step back. I don't want them on me. This is daughter of a revolutionary soldier. <laughs> uh, soldier. Daughter of a revolutionary soldier erected by the Ann Phillips chapter of Daughters of the American Revolution. 1884. This is Clarinda Kindred. <laughs> and she died 1884. She was born 1802. And that's the one I said was kind of new. That, that's kind of a new grave in comparison to what we're looking at. That has got a 1963 death date on it. Now this one, this is Henry Kindred. He was born in 1804 and died in 1879. These are some old graves. This lady right here. She died. So the ones over there are the oldest, I think. She died in 1888. And her husband died in 1894. Gosh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Sabrina Galloway Key. She died in 1903. She was born in 1838. And this is Judy. I think it says Judy Thigpen. Right right she died in 1887. These are we're all we're in thick pens over here. These are thick pens. A lot of thick pens over here. This is 1901. Now who did what did you say? A lot of thick pens. No, over here. you said this something. This is a war veteran. Private. This World War One, Joshua Thigpen. Machine gun. And there's another one over here. He was born in 1897, died in 1956. This one, I can tell you it's a Thigpen, but that's all I can say. 45th Regiment, Alabama Infantry. That's the Confederate States of America. I don't see, he don't have dates on there. Birth he don't. Death. But the Reynolds right beside him, which I would assume is his wife, died in 1934. She was born in 1861, which means if she was married to a Confederate soldier, war didn't start till 1861. She's born the year the war started. He was older than her, <laughs> significantly older. We'll back up to which is woods right here. not unusual. Yeah, right through the fence over there. It does go off into the woods. Well, this is really good. This is very cool. You 
Y'all, we didn't do an intro or an outro. But this is Tim and Tammy time. And we are in... Uchi. Alabama. Which we didn't know about. I didn't know about until we came into Uchi, Alabama. And it's historic. And y'all, I promise we'd show you what we found. And we found this. And this is cool. So. Thanks for watching. Please, please like. like. Please subscribe. And... We love y'all. Yes, we do. Temperature drop. I mean, really. Over there, y'all, the temperature did drop a good bit, and it smelled funny. Hope we don't carry us up and home with us. Okay, let's not even joke about that. Love this tree. Oh, I, I'm being attacked by it. I was wondering what was on top of my head. The tree? <laughs> You did step right back into it. Yeah, I did. Oh, that was funny, y'all. Oh, dang. It's Captain Moss in it and it's grabbing me. It's a yeah, tiger. yeah. Reached out and grabbed me. Okay, I'm ready to go. Trees attacking me. That's poltergeist. Trees attacking. Odd smells. Temperature drops.